and it's uh, same old, same old here, you know, Crusaders, you know, and you can't fault them, you know, like their, their quality side. There's some great players, you know what I mean, but they're players that have bought in to the whole ethos of Stephen Baxter and Crusaders. Yeah. They're going to be very hard to stop again this season. The continuity is there, Adrian, you've nailed it again. Stephen Baxter's been there now 11 years, I think. Uh, he has slowly but surely resurrected that club. They've done it in stages. Uh, they've taken them from one phase to the other. They're now at the top level uh, and they're now uh, one in the league and they're the team to beat. They have the best squad in the league. Uh, they probably have the best team in the league. I always think the league table never lies. Uh, and, and yes, they're the team to beat and that would be a treble. My goodness, that would be real history in the mm -hmm. making if they won three in the row. Linfield Who's the greatest threat? Is it Linfield or is it is it Cliftonville or have they gone no. back? Is it Glenavon, Ballymena? No. You know, where's their biggest threat? Uh, Linfield. Okay. Linfield's the biggest threat. And again, uh, I did a match recently there, uh, Linfield down at Coleraine. I was covering it for BBC, and it was the first time really I'd heard a few people having a go at David Healy, the manager, who's literally only through the door what twelve months ago or whatever, and uh, and I felt sorry for David Healy as well because. You know, he's had to come in and take over a team that's been stuttering. It's not to say that it was that it was on, uh, you know, all four wheels were on the ground when he took over. There was a couple off the ground and, and mm -hmm. he's trying to get the ship stabilised. He was brought in Roy Carroll, obviously a uh, very experienced international, and Sammy Klingon. Uh, they wouldn't have been cheap to bring in either, Adrian. So player budget-wise, he's probably exhausted that budget. But I think that, that David Healy, I don't think, I, I know if they give him the chance... He will certainly deliver. They just have to give him the time. And and let's not forget that, you know, it's 26 years since Liverpool won the English League. And we all like, we all know how big a club Liverpool are and how popular they are, particularly in Northern Ireland. They, 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 so many Liverpool fans. It's 26 years That's since Liverpool believe, won the league. That's years, isn't it? That's four or five years since... What was since the price of a Swiss roll then? Uh, oh, for goodness <laughs> I think we get two for the price of one. <laughs> but... And Man United, four or five years since Man United won the league. So, Linfield well, there's fans, nothing wrong with that. Linfield fans <laughs> have to be realistic. Isn't that Liverpool stat? Isn't that an incredible that's a, stat? That's amazing, really. You know, and, and people have got to realise that Linfield, it'll take time. He's not just going to come in in 12 months. I think last year he, he won two trophies at Linfield, second in the league, and to many that was considered a failure. Uh, and people have just got to be realistic. You've no divine right anymore to go to the mm. likes of Balamina and Coleraine and Glenavon and these places and beat them. Uh, you know, so they've got to accept reality and take a reality check. They've no divine right to win the league every year. I think keep faith with David Healy and I think he'll deliver.